I actually did a video prior to this one uh, explaining what an M97 code is and how I wrote that. There are multiple ways you can do this. In this example, this one might get kind of tricky. Definitely a more advanced video, I wouldn't say for a beginner because it might take a while to wrap your head around this. Okay, let's see if I can explain this without screwing it up. Let's say you have a piece of stock and this is for a lathe. You want to drill a hole, but you have to do it off center. So this is center line right here. And let's say you want to drill a hole at X three quarters of an inch, so it's 750 off center line, and you want at least an inch deep. Uh, it doesn't say it doesn't have to be perfect, at least an inch deep. And for this example, let's just say we're using uh, I don't know a quarter, uh, an eighth inch drill. Let's just say we're using uh, we're gonna write this I don't know, right, right here, an eighth inch drill. Because I use that a lot in some of the parts I used to do. Here's where on older machines, this came in real handy. I figured it out after a few years. Um, the newer machines probably already have a can cycle for this. But back then, I, we didn't have that um, luxury. I had to figure out a way to do this without writing so many lines of code and you know wrap it in, wrap it out, wrap it in, drill, wrap it out, just the peck drill to remove the chips. So I found a way and this is going to hopefully help you guys out if you have live tooling on your lathe. So I'm using the M97 call for this. And I wrote it up kind of because I'm losing daylight here and I'm, hopefully this video quality is good. So let's say you came up, you found your location, you picked a spot you want to drill, you did an M19 code and I did that in a previous video. And let's say you did an M19 code at uh, 45 degrees so you'd have your M19R 45.000 or it could be a P so okay this is this word it gets a little kind of crazy I try to save a lot of code writing so what I did was I rapided a half inch in front of the face turned on my live tooling which was an M133 and let's just say 3000 rpm that was the max RPM. I don't know if they're quicker now, but that's what it was back then. And now I'm going to wrap it down to my dimension of X.750, Z.05, so I'm 50 thousandths in front of the faced part. And let's just say, well, oops, um, let's say we turn on the coolant right here. Now, this is where you have to play around a little bit on your drilling depth. I know I want at least an inch deep. So I'm going to tell it, I want, this is what you have to do. You have to switch to incremental codes. W codes are for your Z axis. A negative value is drilling into the part and we're gonna now and now you have to make sure you you put a G98 uh, we'll just mm, well I'll just squeeze it in up here because you have to switch over to inches uh, inches per minute when you're doing this stuff because it's treating it like a mill so now we're, we're gonna want to jump down to this line right here so we want to start feeding in. This is where, so I came up a W code, now I'm wrapping 1.1 inches that way, coming out. 
So it looks like a lot of wasted space, but it happens so fast. You know, it's it's minuscule as far as the time you lose. Because I want to make sure I'm wrapping far enough out because it's almost acting like a sliding ruler with every succession as far as going in. You just want to make sure your drill bit is coming out far enough to clean out the chips. Because the farther and farther you go in, you have to make sure it comes out and clean off everything or you're going to snap the drill. And believe me, I did. So it's just like a slide, sliding ruler constantly going in and out. So say you want at least an inch deep, just make sure this value here is like 100, 150, 200 thousandths farther than that dimension. So we, we fed in 90 thousandths. So we know we're going to start here. So you have to have line numbers. So at this M97 code, I want it to jump down to this line here, which is line number 9. So that's going to be a P9. And you have to figure out, well, how many times do I have to peck drill in order to complete that? Well, I did a little goof around prior to making this video. And I came up with a total of 15 pecks. It's going to go a little deeper than the one inch, but it's not a big deal because for what we are doing that's the only reason if you have to be really specific you can just rough it out and get it close and then come back with a final feed move to your desired depth I'm probably getting an extra 30 thousands on this so I came up with 15 pecs so how do I figure that out I'm starting at 50 thousands in front of the part my first feed move is 90 thousandths deep. So you automatically lose the 50 thousandths and then you're going to start going into the negative. So we know 40 thousandths, so 40 plus the 5 equals 90. So if we're starting at 50 thousandths in front of the face, if you add 90 thousandths negative to this, you're going to be going into the part 40 thousandths. And I hope that doesn't sound confusing. So in theory, that's kind of like your pilots just starting the, the, the drilling process. So from there, it goes 90 thousandths. So technically, your first peck is negative 40 thousandths. That is, that's technically your first peck going in 40 thousandths. And you can move this around a little bit, like start at 60 thousandths or 40 thousandths, depending. That's just what I came up with. So we'll get rid of that. And then every, so I wrapped it out 1.1, coming out, and then wrapped it back in. Everything's a W code. Wrapped it positive 1.1, negative 1.08. You don't want to wrap it even numbers. You want to stay 20 thousandths less. So we're losing 20 thousandths now. And then it's going to repeat that feed move of 90 thousandths. But since we're taking away 20 thousandths, you're only going to be doing 70 thousandths peck. Because you're cutting 20 thousandths of already pre-drilled section. So... The 70 thousandths peck, with all the math I did, I figured 15 pecks. So you have to give that an L code. So you type in L15. Okay, I know everyone's probably like, oh my god, my head hurts. It sounds very confusing. If you do it in graphics, and do it in single block mode, you'll see how that how everything's working. And once you do it, it's it's it just becomes easy after that. So what this does, M97 P9 is telling me to jump to this line right here 15 times before it continues here. 
So it's going to, it's just going to keep repeating this line 15 times. So what that's doing is it's jumping down the line 9, 10, 11, 12, and it comes back, and it reads the 99, which tells it to loop back to this right here. So this is going to consistently keep going to here. So it's going to do these three lines of code and repeat back up to here. 15 times but just remember your the last time it does its final peck the drill is going to still be inside that hole so what we have to do you have to tell it once that is all completed I want it to complete to jump down to this line right here line 13 so P13 so that tells me I want to make sure that it actually pulls the drill bit out of the part uh, one inch in front of the face and it turns off the live tooling and then the coolant and then from there on out it just rapids to wherever and that's how that's done and I know that was kind of quick and crazy but it saves so much time writing the rapid moves, the feeds, it's just it's just bouncing back and forth and that's all it's doing. You can you can do 20 pecks, however many pecks you want. Just you can even shorten the amount of pecks as far as how how much you do with this. So and you just you have to play around with that. The bigger drills, you, you no, you don't have to you know do as many pecks. Um I used a lot of smaller drills. I had to be careful with that stuff snapping. So other than that, I hope that's another example that helps you guys out. It's really meant for more advanced learning, I guess you can say. I'm not nothing spectacular. I just kind of tried to figure out the quickest way to do this stuff without writing a million lines of code. So I hope that helps. You may have to watch this over and over to kind of grasp it. But uh, that's it for another example of using an M97 code. I hope it helps. And there's even more examples, but for now, that's it. All right, I hope you guys have a great day. Take care, and we'll see you again soon.